Good morning! My name is Mr. Akhtash. I'm a public school teacher, and this is a musical artwork uh, using the Makey Makey and Scratch. I'm going to show you how I made it. In this video, I'm going to take you through the steps I used to create the musical keyboard. So, the first thing that I did is I googled a keyboard. I printed out this keyboard, and then I found this webpage from Scratch all about the keyboard. So when you play notes, it'll pop up this little window here. Uh, we can see if I create a note, let me go to music, if I create a note, if I try to edit the note, I can either enter a number or uh, I can see it uh, as the different keys. So I took this chart and I mapped it to this keyboard. You can see uh, C4 is 60, C4 is 60. So after I mapped the keyboard uh, on this piece of paper, I found a sound clip I wanted. I happened to like this uh, song, I'm a Believer by Imagine Dragons. So I like the sound, but I didn't know how to play on the keyboard. So the next step is I found an easy keyboard tutorial. So if I play this, and using this keyboard tutorial and using C3 as my uh, marking point, so I can see over here C4 and then C3 is right here, it's 48. So I went to the beginning of the video, I went to the settings, where are the settings, and I played the speed at 0.25 and I wrote down the first I think 15 notes so I can see this first note is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and then it's the black one right above 5 so if I go to C3 I go 1 2 3 4 5 and this next one over so that is 58 so I kept doing that till I got I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, until I got 13 notes. Uh, using those notes, I went into Scratch and I programmed this short program. So I actually put the whole program together just so I would see what would happen. So here, when B is played, repeat two times and it plays all these notes. And then you can see those numbers line up perfectly. So I press B. Sweet. Um, so now I have the music. It sounds right. It looks good. Now I have to map it to the Makey Makey. So with this specific uh, part of Believers by Imagine Dragons, I only have to use four notes. Um, and luckily, those were uh, key. Those were inputs on the front of the Makey Makey that I could. Uh, play. So let's look, actually is it 5? Whoops, 5. So let's look at up arrow. So when up arrow is pressed, when up arrow is pressed, play this note. Don't repeat the note uh, until I let go of the button. So if I press up, if I hold down up, it's not going to repeat. If I get rid of this, let's look what happens. It's going to keep repeating, it's going to keep repeating that part of the program, so that stops it. The other thing that I have over here on the right side, it took me a while to figure out. Notice if I press up a bunch of times really quickly, it allows me to play that. If I don't have this part of the program, when up arrow key is pressed forever, so I want you to keep checking, if the up arrow is not pressed, then stop. Basically what this does is, well let me show you what if I take it off, so if I press up sounds like it works the same, but if I press it really quickly, you can hear me on the keyboard. I'm pressing it way more times than it's actually uh, allowing me to play the note. What's happening is, when I press up arrow, this has to finish. This uh, note for one beat has to finish, and I can't play the note again until this note finishes. So what this part of the program does is, as soon as I let go of the up arrow, it will stop that note so I could play it in quick succession. Uh, I did that for all the keys, and that's how I got the inputs on the Makey Makey and Scratch. We're then going to design a circuit board. 
so that all of the same keys uh, lead up to one output for the Makey Makey. Uh, and they're going to design a scratch program. So you can see that when I touch the different things on on the physical circuit board, it activates the different parts of the scratch program. And an update for my DIY conductive paint. Um, glue does not work. Uh, you have to use acrylic paint and graphite. Uh, you have to use three to one uh, by weight for acrylic paint to graphite, and you have to lay it on thick. Uh, for this specific keyboard, I had to do three coats, and especially around the corners, I had to make it extra thick. That's everything. I'll play it one last time. Thank you. Can I make rock tour? No. It's uh, it's designed so that so that when you go across, it plays the sound clip. You could also take your other hand and just swipe across here, and you would get all the notes at once. So, what is it? The first one is 58. I know they're not in the correct order. The first one is 58, so this is 58. 58 is... 58 is a... Is that sharp? A3. A, what is that little pound sign? Yeah, it's, it's, it's flat. So it's a flat. The second one is 65. Uh, 65 is F4. These two sound the same. They are. If you look, can I see? The circuit board, so this key connects all the way over here. There's only one, two, three, four, five notes. Because these are connected on the circuit board, they're the same note. Wait, can I make the cat play? Hold, 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 yeah. hold this for a second. <laughs> Wait, does it work? You gotta get his skin. Try to like hold near his ear. Well, it doesn't work. There's too much fur. It's the only thing else. This fur isn't conductive enough. I'm using his thing. It's totally gonna work. Lick your finger and touch his skin. See if you can get a better contact. Or touch his nose. I bet his nose would work. <laughs> His nose is really wet, so it's conductive enough. Maddie.